Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs and today is day one of my 12 days of Christmas projects. We're kicking things off with a Christmas banners bundle. Um, I have a one project here in this video and there will be a second video today. There's also prizes every day and a new bundle uh, with two projects featured each day. So make sure uh, you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog to check it all out. All right, the first project we're gonna make is this little like slider card. I think this would be good, good to add a gift card to. It goes in and out like that. Um, it uses this awesome stamp set called Christmas Banners. This is a stamp set that you can use throughout the year. The banners themselves are just really great. Um, your photopolymer stamps can turn, you can actually, you know, bend them on your clear block to get them to fit in here. So if you pull stamps from another set, you can stamp them in here. But today we're gonna use it to make that Christmas card. And I kind of went with some non-traditional Christmas colors. My inspiration is this pattern paper. This is our Stampin' Rewards pattern paper that you can only get. If you spend $150, you get it for free. Um, I love polished pink, and so using polished pink for Christmas to me is really fun. All right, so this is a regular card base that I have cut off at three inches, okay? And we're going to adhere the sides closed to make a pocket. And you probably noticed on my sample that my card was having a hard time going in and out because I use tear and tape, which is fine, but it makes this space right here smaller um, for your card to slide in. So I'm gonna use Tombow liquid glue. Um, that way my card will have more space to fit in here. All right, now I'm gonna add that designer series paper to the front. Now the measurements and the supplies will all be listed on today's blog post. All right, I'm gonna set this under something heavy for a minute and let it dry, and we'll do all the stamping. All right, this, <laughs> this banner right here is my favorite, the little one that kind of goes back and forth, and stamping it in polished pink ink on polished pink cardstock really makes it a wow, I think. Isn't that beautiful? So we're not gonna stamp the words on that. We're actually gonna stamp the words on a second banner. I wanted to use more than one banner from this stamp set. So this banner, we're gonna stamp in Memento Black on Basic White. You know, I don't really like the way that that's stamped. Let's try it again. It looks like maybe my ink pad needs to be re-inked. Let's see if we can get it a little darker. Much better. All right, now I'm gonna take the sentiment and I'm gonna have to pull it down so I can see it, but you just stamp it right in the middle. And if you're worried about getting it lined up, these are photopolymer, they're clear, it's really easy, but if you still want it to be just perfect, pull out your Stamparatus and use your Stamparatus to stamp that in. All right, I'm gonna use my mini cut and emboss machine today. We're gonna cut these out. I don't think I can get both of them on here at the same time, but I can do it pretty quickly. All right, now that we've got those cut out, I've cut some things out ahead of time. I've got a um, stylus shape circle, which is the second largest circle in that set. And we're gonna take this little branch right here and we're gonna stamp some branches around the edge. Notice I'm stamping and then stamping again. That's gonna give us two different colors of these branches. And really all you're gonna see is up here on this edge. A little bit more right there, okay? All right, now let's layer everything up. We're gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals. All right, and we're gonna put this banner, my polished pink banner, kind of down a little bit. See how it's kind of down? And then we're gonna take this banner and we're gonna put this one just kind of there in the middle, like that. All right, and you know what? Let's see, I think I need to go up. I think I went down too far. Let's try that. Let's move it up a little bit 
just mm, just a little bit there we go all right now i have cut out three branches these branches are from this set this one right here and this one right here um these other branches um will cut out the stamped images which you'll see in the next video all right, let's use some Tombow liquid glue. Hopefully I don't make a mess. And we're just gonna slide these in behind our second banner like that. Kind of separate those and put this guy right in the middle like that, okay? Little holiday foliage cluster, if you will. Okay, now let's take our, um, my favorite ribbon ever made, the black and white gingham ribbon, tie a bow. And then we'll just cut those edges at an angle. That one's already done for us. And get a glue dot. And we will put this right there, kind of holding our little, our little arrangement together. Okay, so now let's bring back over hopefully it's had enough time to dry and this is just going to go over on the left side if i haven't lost my dimensionals here they are like that kind of sticking up a little bit i think and then i have a piece of uh, basic black that is three and three fourths by five and then a piece of basic white that is three and a half by four and three fourths. Now I didn't stamp anything on here, but you know, you have a lot of choices. You could add some foliage, you could add another um, sentiment, and you can also add a gift card down here at the bottom. If you use glue dots on your gift card, they will come out or they will pop off real easily. And look, that fit in there perfectly. All right, well, there you go. Project number one for day one of my 12 days of Christmas. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. Check out the second banners for Christmas or Christmas banners project and enter, enter to win a prize. Thanks, everybody. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.